Well, how's it going on this glorious Tuesday of December the 5th? Boy, this video is probably not gonna make me any fans with a certain community, but you got two men that took first and second place at a women's cycling championship. That's what I'm calling them, because that's what they are. According to Grounds.News, cyclists, men's cyclists in Illinois take first and second place in women's cyclists, or yeah, cycling championships. One of these days I'll learn how to speak. The for 10 women, Tesla Johnson and Evelyn Wilson won gold and silver in female cyclists or cycle race. In Illinois, sparking controversy among female sports advocates and political commentators, rightfully so. Johnson and Wilson have been racing in women's cycling for years, with Wilson earning 18 first place titles in races across the country since 2017. 18 first place titles. The victories of Transgender athletes and women races have led to criticisms from those who believe that they have an unfair advantage. Of course, they have an unfair advantage. They got a higher testosterone, tes testosterone, whatever you know, whatever that is. I know what it is. Testosterone or whatever. High T, low T ads. I can't speak today. But here's the thing: is uh. They got higher bone masses. They have a higher lung capacity, especially if they already hit puberty. It's here. According to Fox News, because, you know, I just want to do it for the comments. Is this a long, oh, it's a decent size. Let's see here. A pair of, a pair of men won gold and silver in female cyclist race in Illinois over the weekend. And it's not the first time they finish ahead of biological women. Uh, Johnson and Wilson, who are both born males, beat out the opposition Illinois State Psycho Cross Championship on Saturday. And the news sparked anger from female sports advocates and political commentators. Johnson and Wilson stood on the podium as first and second place winner, respectively, in the women's single speed category while Christine Chamler, a biological woman, was regulated to the third spot. Johnson took the first place in women's category uh, one half race, earning $150 in prize money. $150. You're robbing women of $150. It's not a whole lot, but still. Both Johnson and Williamson have been racing women's cycling for years, with Williamson collecting 18 first place titles in races across the country since 17, 2017, I should say, according to Redux, a women's rights news activist site. The pair clinched gold and silver in Chicago's Cycle Cross Cup Series in October, again leaving biological females in third. Cycle cross races take place on difficult terrain such as mud and sand, and riders often have to dismount and run with their bikes. News res <laughs> resulted a picture of the pair on the podium on Sunday drew sharp criticism on Twitter. Tennis legend Martina Narito Nar Naradalo Barlow. How do you pronounce that name? This person. Who has railed against transgender competing against women in sports, wrote, more metacore male bodies taking podium places from women athletes, and it stinks. Uh, journalist Piers Morgan was so appalled, writing, it's so outrageous. Why aren't more women standing up against the assault of their rights? Because if they stand up, They'll be assaulted just like Riley Gaines was. Riley Gaines, a former 12-time All-American swimmer at University of Kentucky, an advocate of keeping biological men out of sports, offer comprehensive female cyclists who boycott U.S. cycling competition. 
uh, compensate. I mean, that's what it's going to take. Women are going to have to say, we're not racing against men. And this will hopefully blow over. Any woman who concedes and does not compete, I'll personally pay them the prize money that they're missing out. Gaines wrote, stop participating in the farce. Gaines' offer came weeks after a female pool player of UK forfeited her final match because she was drawn to compete against a transgender woman. Chicago Cross Cup, which organizes Sunday cyclist races, says on its website that the following U.S. cyclist transgender athlete participation policy is for all its all its races. I mean, if a uh, trans man want to compete, but they're going to be at disadvantage. Discrimination or harassment of any kind based on race, color, religion, age, gender, sex, orientation, gender identification, or any other stupid idea someone comes up with belittles other and will not be tolerated at the CCC events that may result in disqualification and will be and or will be asked to leave. The website reads on July, not July, but July, Union, Union Cyclists International, UCI, the world governing Body Sports Cycling updated its policy banning transgender athletes from elite competitions. This is on Fox. I gotta read this one. That was July July 14th. Oh, stop you over. Autoplay. The cycling governing body bars transgender females from women international events. This is awesome. This is freaking awesome. Let's see here. Did it even show a picture of the two? No, it didn't. That's kind of weird that they didn't show a picture. Um, let's see here. Let's see, Tombo here, Gray. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let's see here. Let's see. What is this? NCAA swimmer and an I'll read this article for free. I don't want to read. Ah, it won't let me read. There we go. It doesn't really matter. Once again, men are taking spots that women should go for. It's up to the women who are involved in these sports to stand up for themselves and to decide how their sports are going to be played. No state laws, no courts. All it's going to take is a few high-profile events to not happen at the very last second, like the, <laughs> like starting the gun to make a, their point, and if they do not want to make, want male competitors to be involved, the rest of us can do very little at this regard. I mean, I agree. I mean, if women still participate, even though they're at a disadvantage, it's really kind of, it's kind of a tough spot, to be honest. It's here. I'm not reading that. For the life of me, I'll never understand the thrill, the glory, the satisfaction of winning a contest when you need to cheat to do it. I finally stopped playing the amateur golf tournaments, even at the club, because you cannot compete because of the cheaters. My wife and I would go look at different groups and tell you who was going to win each one, and they did. This stuff is only going to be stopped when women stop competing in events. If they show up and find males in the field and they notify officials of their departure and leave, and when these events devolve into only males competing, race officials will make a change. It's really what it's going to take. The mothers of these athletes could put a stop to it, but affluent middle-aged women are the most powerful woke contingents in the United States right now and spend their days virtual signaling on social media to get their news from MSNBC. Some people get it from Fox, which is just as equally as bad while I'm on a foxnews.com site. I mean, so it was not a woman bike rage that... <laughs> it was... So it was not a woman bike rage that two men won. It's men... Race for inferior men who are unable to compete against real men. Women are allowed to compete 
to fill out the course, but biological differences will always forbid them from winning. Let's see here. Again, I say, where are the women, women rights groups? This is something that men cannot carry the banner on. Women around the world need to stand up to this or they will take a setback 20 years or setback 20 years. Erosion of scholarships available for women and the decrease in women receiving monetary endorsements will just be the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> you women and girls just don't get it. You don't mind being beaten by a male. What's wrong with you? Very simple fix for all this. Don't compete. Pretty much. Same course that. Of course they did. They are men. Women need to stop competing with them. Walk away every single time. This alone will get Republicans reelected. I don't know. There's a lot of people that are part of the uh, alphabet group that want to see nothing more than their, their ability to compete against inferior women. <laughs> that headline <laughs> allows me to assist. Two men win women's cycling race. That's a much better one. Or two men win a race that was supposed to be for women. The doping continues. When did all common sense leave the house? I don't know. Biological men competing against biological women in women's sports is wrong. Everyone knows it. It's wrong. But until women stand up and... I mean, you're just pretty much saying the same thing over and over. The most camp, compassionate way to treat mental ill, gender confused people is to be honest with them. There's no way to change your gender. It's biology and medically impossible. Honestly, the best po oh, honesty is the best policy. I mean, there's just a lot of comments. I'm not going to read them all. They pretty much all say the same thing that I'm saying. Women just need to stop competing. I mean, if there's, if there's like two or three men that are competing against you, just don't compete. It'll be a very boring race and sponsors are going to drop out. And they're going to eventually either go bankrupt or they're going to change the rules and not allow this to happen. Because this, this is eroding rights that women fought for decades to get just for someone to say that they're females and win against you in the sports. It's just not right. It's not fair for, for the women that actually train all their life. That being said, that is my video today. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. But most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.